Hello friends, welcome to my Royal Family News Channel. Before moving on to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications, so let's move on to the video. Despite the hullabaloo, controversial event coming up in Royal Family King Charles is shortly to summon Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for a major royal reunion in this video, we have specifically decided to talk about what happened on that day through a report and it is only at the end of this video. Welcome back. We are the Kate Middleton and Queen of YouTube. King Charles is reportedly considering offering an olive branch to estranged son Prince Harry and his self-opinionated wife Meghan Markle by inviting them to the Balmoral Castle this summer in a bid to mend royal relations and build closer relationship with their grandchildren. Charles really wants to meet the children, a source told Page Six, I can see Charles wanting contact with his grandchildren and it's a scheme for him to throw out an olive branch to Harry and Meghan. Apart from that, the 75-year-old monarch simply wishes to spend more time with grandson Prince Archie and granddaughter Princess Lilibet as he feels life is too short. Oh, God. Here we go again, right? I swear these tabloids and paparazzi just won't give it up. It's their made-up story and they're trotting this out daily in the media. This is how bad it gets, they beg for Harry to return behind palace walls, just so he can drop a dime on Charles and Catherine. That is all this really is. Prince Harry has been throwing his family under the bus for years. I mean, come on. Harry's absence has brought with it a perfect record of no leaks hmm, I wonder why. But certainly Charles and William are awake to what's happening, the last thing they could ever allow is letting Harry come back now. However, amidst all the controversy going on in his household right now, a controversial event is about to take place in the royal family. King Charles will soon summon Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for a grand royal reunion we will have a specific report on that incident in this video so watch all the way to the end. Welcome back. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Kate Middleton the Queen Mile Long Wide Wall being constructed by the White House at Capitol Building in Washington. Photo from United States Congress Galactic Beast when King Charles ascends to the British throne in June or July of 2021 following the death slash dethronements slash canings related to Uncon 19. He is planning on inviting Prince Harry and his narcissistic wife Meghan Markle out to Balmoral Castle for for a summer break as part of an olive branch to patch up royal relations and draw closer with his grandchildren. As a well-placed source told Page Six, clearly, Charles wants to meet the grandchildren and he is offering an olive branch to Meghan and Harry. The 75-year-old monarch also wants to spend more time with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet because he believes life is too short. Oh, God. Here we go again folks. Like, duh. These tabloids and paparazzi just won't let it go. They are the ones promoting this story of so-called and they're ramming it down our throats in the media, every day. They just want Harry back within palace walls so badly that he can drop some more Charles slash Catherine bombs. This is what this has been all about. After all, Harry has spent years hanging out his family. Not one single leak since Harry went. Hmm, I wonder why. Obviously Charles and William are fully aware now as to what's been going on, they can't let Harry come back. Fake optimistic he's not. I don't think any of that is really being considered. I think it's a pile. I feel there is just too much risk in bringing both of those back. I would, tbh to start with if he really wanted to meet the kids the king well zoom. I mean. His majesty is very busy. I don't think he has space anymore in his life for the unrevealed possibility of anything else that might possibly stress him out, particularly a couple of unseen grandchildren. Given his concerns about the Commonwealth, the realms, and the United Kingdom in general, as well as a rather narrow read of his duties to uphold the House of Windsor. And he also insists on taking the coal, Aldershot at all, of course. Harry and Meghan of course take nothing seriously at the end. I mean, not even their checking account balance. So I think if the king chooses to bring them back then many people will respond and say you know what, that's it, we're done with the royal family. This is not going to be able to have people sit. 
The king cannot make the people accept those two back, especially after everything they have said and done to vilify Britain and the royal family. Especially Prince William and Princess Catherine, the rest of the royal family I am sure will not be okay with this. They don't want to let Harry and Meghan within ten feet of them, and they don't need any more hassle in their lives either. So if King Charles really must insert himself into the lives of the invisible grandchildren, why can't he just pop on over to the US to go see them? If King Charles is going to insist on inviting them, then he needs to first show his support to William and Catherine and Sophie and Edward by taking away Harry and Meghan's titles and the titles of their invisible children too because they are such a source of drama. Harry and Meghan can go on these expensive vacations, they can live a life of leisure and luxury, and they don't have one good thing to say about the royal family. So why is the king doing more to show support to the other people, the people who are supporting him? I mean, where is his sense of justice? But anyway, I really question this olive branch. Seriously, why would the king invite them back? I mean, what's he going to invite them back for? For what purpose, exactly? They're only going to wreak more havoc if they are given the chance. And I know the royal family loves Balmoral, but Meghan hates it because she's not an outdoors girl. She only likes to stroll through parking lots where she can wear six-inch heels. She doesn't appreciate any rural activities. And also, where are the cameras? And what of the Invisi kids, why summon them at all, surely not to a place where they have no extended family to have fun with either? Harry and Meghan have also reportedly declined plenty of other invitations in the past, most critically by the now-deceased Queen. So what about Meghan's supposed security fears? By and large, the crime rate in the UK is a lot lower than that in California. I mean, honestly, these security fears are just totally overblown. Hmm. And I bet the king also has extra security up there at Balmoral. It seems to me that Meghan could probably walk around the grounds without fear of being mugged for her designer jewelry she paid too much for, even though Harry might find it to be a very difficult place to get the drugs he needs. So anyway, according to Facebook, there was this murder investigation at a neighboring holiday home in which the mother successfully concluded that was carried out by Professor Plum in the library with a lead pipe. That is what the crime rate is like there. Honestly, it looks like King Charles is not making the best decisions right now if this really is true. I mean, that shows that he has no concern for his other son, William, even in the middle of this cancer situation with his faithful daughter-in-law. Is it because he doesn't want to strip them of their titles? I mean, he needs to do it. He needs to have Parliament do it. I mean, he's keeping them on the royal website, too. And he just thinks that it's okay, I guess, for them to insult the royal family all the way from Montecito. I don't know. But I think that he needs to be thinking more of Catherine and William right now. It's stuff like this that has me looking forward to the reign of King William. And who does Meghan think she is? There is no queen there. There never will be a queen there, her kids will never be king or queen either. Nobody's interested in anything she has to give. That is, seriously, it's all about the future king and queen and Meghan knows it. So she's just trying to get some good publicity for herself, or, actually, just some publicity, period. Now, supposedly they have enough money to pay for their security, so why can't they do that? Why are they always walking around looking for handouts? They are the children of King Charles, that can never change. But then, I would not call him a prince of the UK anymore. That is, those occasional private visits, and then he goes right back home. That's a lot more than he ever deserved, and he can blame Meghan Markle for this estrangement. But the king should care about what the citizens want, and the citizens of the UK have spoken. They do not want Harry to come back to the UK ever again. If truly the two of them are coming back, maybe it's time for a referendum on the royal family. I just think most citizens are disgusted by what Harry and Meghan seem to think are the people of Britain. The citizens don't want their hard-earned money going to Harry and Meghan, so as long as Harry is here trashing his family in public and acting like a toddler, and somehow he can be forgiven for it, well, he's going to continue to do just that. 
so, I really hope this doesn't happen. He really should be taught a lesson. There are consequences to behavior. Because even the late queen couldn't trust them. She wouldn't allow the photographers when they visited her. She was behind everything. Just remember that 96-year-old queen easily fired her easily led grandson in full agreement of Charles and William because he simply couldn't, as a matter of fact, work in the firm anymore, and that decision could not be undone. There is this new book by Robert Jobson, and it says that from the moment Charles became king, the emotional blackmail began. Don't you want to see your grandchildren? Now, he said the king made it clear that he refused to be emotionally blackmailed. Good for him. He refused to pay for Harry's security. He kicked them out of Frogmore. And he tried his best to get him removed as Councillor of State, but apparently Parliament blocked him. He refused to call his grandchildren his and her royal highness. And Harry and Meghan got infuriated. Well, the king has protocol in place. He's not going to have any phone calls with the Grissom Tusum, no face-to-face -face meetings either, without a witness there. And he doesn't even have a cell phone. So really, Harry and Meghan can't bother him. And since then, we have sat and watched as the King and Catherine were accused of being racist by that little weasel Omid Scobie. And then when the King fell ill, they tried this whole, oh, we're going to come and help out with royal duties. No, you don't. A mercy dash to see his sick father, uninvited by the way, which got him about twelve minutes, arguing about Camilla being there. And then the king and queen took off in the helicopter for Sandringham and just left Harry all on his own to fume. And then the photo campaign against poor Catherine trying to present themselves as the alternative royal family. And then we heard about Catherine's announcement and that little plan came crashing down all around them. And now Meghan and her idiot are left with trying to sell Sussex brand BS online. And they are so desperate for people to buy their wares, but they're not going to. And now they've made up this invitation to Balmoral. I also don't believe that King Charles ever met in Visibet considering that, in fact, no children were in the UK during the Platinum Jubilee. I mean, in the Times article it was stated that Lilibet has never been to the UK. Now, has King Charles even met the real Archificial, or could it have been a rented kid claimed as being Archie, or maybe even a doll? I think this story is another example of a puff piece that Harry and Meghan are putting out because they are so desperate to pretend like they still have a connection to the royal family. So maybe Harry only wants to make peace with the royal family now because Charles has cancer. But he doesn't stand much chance of ever being part of the royal family again. Everything is down to William. He must be scared out of his wits, but then he should have thought about that, hadn't he, before he went and read a load of rubbish trashing his own family and writing a book of lies? That's it for our video my friends, I hope you have liked it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments, and like the video. If you haven't done so yet if you want to be first to be informed about my content, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on notifications. Thank you for spending this time with me, take care of yourself and stay healthy, I'll see you in the next one.